Hey everybody, Charles Billings are here. Welcome to the Charles Billings Podcast. We are uh, going to have a fun day today, but we got... <laughs> hey, Brandon. And... Adam. And our guest, Patrick <laughs> Colby Short. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, guys? it's uh, we're going to talk music today. You know, this podcast is about uh, faith, hope, love, mm-hmm. and every once in a while, a little bit of good music. Absolutely. And today, we're talking music. Mm-hmm. Uh, interesting conversation that's going to take place today because <laughs> we're talking about our background mm-hmm. and our musical influences and how that relates to doing church <laughs> and also music outside the church. So mm-hmm. uh, I wanted to start today, first of all, by thanking our sponsors, World Health. Thank you very much. We love oh, you. Yeah. And also Tom Shepard uh, at uh, Shepard uh, Family Auto Group. Yeah. I always just call him Tom Shepard, but I think the official name is Shepard. But everybody who listens to the podcast now knows Tom because they heard him. A oh, few that's right. They did listen to his uh, his Fantastic. word and testimony and uh, story, and it was awesome. Nice. So uh, if you're looking for a vehicle, call Tom Shepard. <laughs> and if you're uh, if you if you want a, a, an organization to just give to that is actually changing the world, mm-hmm. then look into World Health. They're amazing. Um, but today, speaking let's of, speaking talk of about Tom, me. yeah, anecdotally, what? That Did stupid you say story. anecdotally? <laughs> anecdotally. <laughs> anecdotally. Is that a word? Anecdotally. It's talking about anecdotes. Yes. anecdotes. <laughs> that stupid story about you tipping the golf cart girl and him getting mad at you has plagued me. I like, know. I went it to, plagues I went me to every give, time I, I went a tip to anywhere. Give a tip at lunch after church the other day, and mm-hmm. I was like, mm-hmm. not enough. Uh, <laughs> Tom, Tom kills me, man. Good His Lord, generosity Tom. is amazing. Wow, it really is. And yeah, uh, yeah every- well, maybe if you think about it, that's a good thing. That that well, story. It, yeah, but, <laughs> but now you're frustrated. Yeah, it's costing yeah. me money. <laughs> but it costs me more money. And you know I know what? that's the wrong way people to think about it. it. I heard a, a friend tell me, you know, the other day that he said, you know, people who are in those kind of service roles. Uh, are not typically there as a career. They're there mm-hmm. because they need the job yeah. and they're trying to move somewhere else. Mm-hmm. And uh, when you look at it that way, it's like, man, I can bless this person right yeah. now. You know, Now, unless they're a waiter at Ruth's Chris or something and they're making $500 <laughs> a night, that's a pretty good job. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I don't think that's where he took his family, though, the other day yeah. after church. No, <laughs> no, no, it was not. McDonald's. <laughs> No, Somewhere it wasn't between no, it, it, was in between. it was it was one of our one of our local Mexican joints. Okay, oh, okay nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, Lancaster well. family staple after church. Oh, sure. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. Understood. Well, uh, anecdotally, um, <laughs> oh, let's, let's move into some music. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, <laughs> Brandon. Yes. Uh, tell us in twenty seconds yeah. where. You were, you know, where you grew up at church and what the music was like specifically in your church. Baltimore, Maryland, Independent Baptist Church. Independent Baptist. Yeah, There's a key uh, phrase. Yeah, I didn't make sure you said <laughs> that. Independent Baptist. But we did a lot of Gaithers. So that okay. was a lot of oh, okay, Gaither yeah. stuff. And when I got a little older, it Would Craig you call that Southern Gospel? Yeah, I guess so. It, but Baltimore, so. you know, we didn't do a lot of Southern Gospel. Most mm-hmm. people think Bill but. Gaither is the 13th apostle, but <laughs> I would definitely put him in the Southern Gospel category. He's written yeah. so much stuff. He has. Almost as much as Paul. Good yes. Lord. But, <laughs> yes, I really think that, uh, you know, there'll be some thrones up in heaven and he'll For be sure. sitting on one of them. Wow, it'll you know. be in the G clef or something like that. Oh, my huh? gosh. <laughs> in the treble clef, at least. <laughs> So Are you okay? I, you doing all right? I love this. I love it. <laughs> so, like so they did a lot of Gaither stuff. Well, and I traveled with my family. Stupid. My mom and dad were missionaries, and in order, they had to raise their own support. And so oh, wow. we went out, and it was four of us, me and my sister, my mom and dad, and we went out and sang a little quartet. You so. had a quartet? Yeah. Mm. Wow, what'd you call it? The Pickets? The Pickett, the Von Pickets. I don't know the what we Pickett. were. The Pickets. <laughs> I don't oh, know what man. it was. But we, we had a good time, and that's cool. how I kind of learned yeah. harmony. Did you play guitar and stuff like that? No, we didn't. Yeah. Oh, every You know, we had tracks. We called Did them tracks. Did you pick it a banjo? No, pick it. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, gosh. A picket. Wow. <laughs> like a smoking a pancake. But oh, different. oh. <laughs> what? Oh, my so, God. Anyway. <laughs> Well, that's pretty cool. What? So you were on the road all, all we did those a lot years. of. We started in Maryland and went to Virginia, nice. and just learned harmonies and stuff like that with a lot of these songs, old the seventies and early eighties. For sure, for sure. Wow, for sure. Wow, you're getting on up there, buddy. Yeah, you're singing in the seventies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he knows. He knows yeah, he does. Firsthand. You get it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. So what about you, Adam? So grew up in North Carolina, mm. in like Brandon, Andy Fundy, 
church. Woo. That's, that's short for uh, this is independent serious, fundamental. Um, <laughs> yeah. fun. okay. um, so we, uh, KJV only, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. 98% Southern Gospel. In fact, 98%. What would the other 2% so be? The other Classical? 2%? No, no, never. <laughs> or no, a contemporary no. we were, course we were, or something? We were folk country, man. We were, we were blue collar. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Not blue, blue grass. But not blue okay. grass. Blue collar people. Blue collar. Um, we're simple people. Hmm. Okay. And you grew up in, where was it, Winston-Salem? Yeah, so Winston-Salem. So you go after church and all the deacons outside smoking? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, the preacher never, never, uh, never had a message on smoking. No, 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 no not in Winston-Salem. <laughs> when or, everybody or in the gluttony. whole church works Probably for that yeah. man. <laughs> so, uh, not smoking or gluttony. Like, I remember when we were, I was in high school, I think, and, and the album that had My Life Is In Your Hands, Kirk Franklin, Ooh, we, Ooh, I think that I was it. Uh, I don't think it was the first one in the family, but yeah, I know. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. So that, my life is in your hand. Not that mm, one. No, 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 no. Kirk oh, Franklin. Kirk I thought Franklin. that was the that one was you're Kathy Tricoli. No. Oh, uh, my life is in your hand. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so we we did that, and that was like. Oh, mm. that's part of that 2%. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, you didn't do a okay. lot of that. Yeah. yeah. All right, all right, I'll go next, and then we're going to get you our guests. <laughs> so um, I was raised not independent fundamental, mm-hmm. but Southern, Southern Baptist. Baptist. I was Southern mm-hmm. Fried Baptist you guys were nine liberals. months before I was born. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were. You guys were liberals to us. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, we're flaming liberals compared to the independent <laughs> fundamentals. But, you know, my grandparents now, my grandma... Very much against women wearing pants. Oh, we, we um, never wore pants. No, Same. no, you don't. What, I mean, you, I you wore pants. <laughs> <laughs> so you, ah, ah. you only wore dresses? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you didn't mix bathe either. No, 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 no mix bathe. No, there was no oh, mix bathe. Oh, my no way. gosh. <laughs> For those of you that don't know. Uh, that's called Adam when boys and girls swim together Just in the same swim. swimming pool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not mixed actual bathing. bathing. Yeah. We no, don't no. mix bathe to this day. <laughs> right. But, but like swimming. Yeah. Yeah. So, Co-ed swimming. Well, you know, we, we were that way too, but we were uh, flaming liberals in the sense that we didn't just do Southern Gospel. We did a lot of hymns. Okay. And we would go to these little Baptist churches. My dad was an evangelist. So, and he would, was what we call a pioneer evangelist, which mm-hmm. basically we went to these little <laughs> tiny places where there's no people. And uh, it was out west for the most part. Yeah. And, um, you know, and so there'd be a lot of hymns every once in a while, a, a really contemporary chorus, like, you know, surely the presence of the Lord is oh, in this place. Surely. We never knew who Shirley was, actually, but uh, she's, <laughs> she's there. I'm sure she's wow. a nice person. Oh, wow. But um, we would do these little choruses, but mainly hymns. My mom would sing. Uh, my mom had a couple of albums mm. and beautiful voice, but um, you know that was typical. Every once in a while, we'd end up in the South at my grandfather's church, and I'll never forget there was this lady named Mrs. Joins. And in the West, we didn't have a lot of shouting in church, but Mrs. Joins, because you were in North Carolina, because we were in North Carolina, every once in a while, Miss Joins would just flat out get happy mm. and let out this scream. Ah! You know, just out of nowhere. And it scared me to death as a child. But, um, you know, it was, uh, it was different in the sense that we weren't quite as um, stiff-necked mm-hmm. as the independent fundamental. But mm-hmm. I would say growing up, my, my grandparents at least were still very much in that vein. You know, there's no, there's no women in pants. There's no mm-hmm. working on Sunday doing anything. Yep. You know, the kids couldn't even go out and play on Sundays. It was like... You know, so it was uh, pretty pretty intense, uh, my grand, my dad's upbringing. And so when we were in that world, that's how we functioned, you know. But the, the music was uh, along the same line as yours, but maybe a, a, a wild-haired chorus here and there. But you got varied, though, when you, what, in high school was when you got varied? It was in Well, in when I went Jacksonville? to Jacksonville, Florida, my ninth grade year, halfway through my ninth grade year, uh, it's the first time I'd ever seen a church with an orchestra because there was a guy there on staff at First Baptist Jacksonville who um, was kind of the the founder or the starter of church orchestras. Mm. And so we had this massive choir and wow. it was a huge church. I'd never seen a church with a balcony before I moved there. 
And now we got like, you know, 4,000 people <laughs> in the room and there's this massive choir and a huge orchestra and it was the most glorious thing wow. I had ever seen. Now, that was also about the time contemporary music was moving into its, mm. you know, the 80s. We had mm -hmm. the, the Stephen Curtis Chapmans and all these wow. groups, the Allies and all these people coming See, out. he's also the 80s. So, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I'm definitely 80s. But, but the Imperials, too, had yeah. gone from a Southern Gospel-ish quartet to now they were doing this contemporary thing. And they were mm -hmm. like my favorite group. Yeah. So, I never, um, I never anyway, <laughs> the, the Imperials? Till, well, they, till I was probably. They started <laughs> off singing with Elvis, I think. Um, That's right. Wow. After the Blackwoods, yeah. But uh, but then, you know, they, they moved into this more contemporary edge, which I love. Like that song's like, uh, let the wind blow. You know, that oh, song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those were, those were good. Those were classic. Adam it's wasn't quite stuff. alive no. then. No. <laughs> then, then Patrick, Patrick was well, definitely not alive. Patrick was not. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> growing up, let's see, Patrick, you're what, 30? 30? 30, uh, 31. 31. 31, yes, sir. All right, so you grow up in this totally different culture than Oof. we did. Yes. Tell us about it yeah. and the differences. So from the little town of Lincoln, Delaware, I can't even, wow. well, little tiny little state of Lincoln, mm -hmm. Delaware. Um, mm -hmm. But um, man, I am one of us, uh, eight kids. I'm number seven out of eight kids. Um, wow. I got five brothers, two sisters. And um, my mom and dad, uh, I mean, grew up in the church playing and singing, um, as well as my grandmother. Um, Every instrument or just keyboard? Uh, so my dad was mostly guitar and, and piano or okay. and organ. Um, but uh, my mom was like the leader of, still to this day, leader of the choirs, praise team, like, and my dad was the minister of music, like, you know, I'm instrumentally. So, like, they were just from early, man, from early. And yeah. even at that same church, my grandmother was one of the first ministers of music oh. at that same church. So, uh, rich, rich, rich history of music. Um, and just like BP, uh, my family was also um, into gospel quartet. There is a uh, such thing. Well, I'll yeah. put you on, yeah. <laughs> you played in gospel. Yeah, yeah. I did not know that there was black gospel yes, quartet. Sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Did you know that? Sir. Uh, no, no. Yeah, well, you I played mean, me some of it, and it's killer. Absolutely. I mean, like from kill. years and like years. What? Oh, um, yeah, give us something. an example. For sure. Uh, this is. I mean, these are guys like the Canton Spirituals. These are guys like Willie Neal, the Country Boy Johnson, out of Texas. Yeah. This is. Um, oh man, See, there's we so have many the yeah. cathedrals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. there's Kenny Cody Woody, yes, Kenny oh, Cody Woody. Yeah, dude, it, it, it was. It's, it's certainly a thing. I love it's it. certainly a thing. It's certainly a thing. <laughs> um, so we grew up, um, you know, I mean, playing and singing that um, as a family. So can we you, traveled. Can you give us that? an example? Of oh like, gosh, like, um, uh, of what a you know the, the black gospel quartet, how it it's different than like. Sure. You know, so, the cathedrals or something. Like so that. most of uh, Black Gospel Quartet is um, well. First of all, we we do like full band on stage. So like okay, so most okay. of the guys are. You'll have an out front leading uh, or a guy leading. Um, you know, I mean, leading kind of the group. Most of the time, you have one or two background singers, but probably two out of those three background singers are also holding an instrument, playing mm. guitar, playing drums, playing mm. keys, mm. Um, and like it's very much so um, just live gospel feel, churchy, but it also has this rhythm blues, mm -hmm. very guitar heavy, like it's, 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 it's something different, man. Ooh. It's something different. And like me sitting at the piano, I couldn't do it justice no, from you actually no listening to a record. Section, oh my yeah. gosh. But um, yeah, yeah, that's what we grew up listening to. What um, are some, are there some famous songs that came out of that? Oh yeah, that we would probably know. Oh, that you would know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh yeah, man, that was great. Song. <laughs> oh, you want to? You know what they are? No. Okay. No. Uh, How about? I mean, like, do you know Candy Cootie Woody? <laughs> no. Oh, <God>. no. <laughs> no, I do not, Chuck. Okay. <laughs> when Adam grabs his forehead like this. <laughs> no, I do not. No, I do not. All right. But um, ah, uh, uh, man, I, I, it's, it's plenty of songs like, jeez. Probably not. It's it's a it's a culture within itself. All right, within like itself. something like "Where Do I Go" when mm. there's no is that would that would that be in that little category? Sometimes, um, I mean, they also while we write a lot of like you know uh, original content, there are some other songs that we kind of like a, a switch up and like we'll do kind of in a quartet feel. Um, okay. Even some like modern day CCM stuff that we'll switch up and do, but it's. It's really a thing that you kind of got to listen to here. Mm -hmm. So, um, so when yeah. you were growing up, mm -hmm. you're the seventh of eight kids. Yes, sir. Is everybody Abs into music at that time? Absolutely. So, like I said, uh, we were a band. We were uh, a traveling group. Your family. Um, my family. family. My family. family. Like, so, 
Um, I have, uh, again, five brothers. Um, I'm kind of towards the, the younger ones, but um, I mean, from the day that my, uh, gosh, that they could all walk for real, for real, uh, my dad was bringing everybody into the basement. And um, he'll put one on keys, one on drums, one on bass. Others are singing. Like and and you're, like this, you're like this tall. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm, I'm upstairs with mom, like, you know, just at home, right? And I'm hearing mm -hmm. it. I can literally hear the floor, like feel the floor shaking mm. just for hours at night. But I knew like if we can go down there, it was something happening. Right. So um, but they would do that. They would go sing and travel. And then, you know, I mean, um, a little bit later when I kind of got of age, when I was like seven, eight years old, I started to become like one of the, you know, I mean, the singers and musicians, um, a part of that band. And um, just like we were, my dad actually has five or six um siblings and they were a group with my grandmother Good so great. this is something that is like oh, this is generational. oh yeah just super generational oh, so yeah. um so yeah we would travel and sing and uh we were known as the shorts family and um yeah i mean we would go places and would you do that quartet kind of music oh yes what? sir okay oh nothing but so do you nothing remember but. some of the early stuff you did like could you play something early yeah um oh man uh Bolton Brothers. So this is a this is another kind of a gospel quartet song that we're seeing. Come and go to that land. Come and go to that land. Come and go to that land where I'm bound. Where I'm bound. Stuff like that. Like it just has a whole. And we're talking about heaven. We're talking about. I mean, everything, man. Yeah. And it um. It was just it was just an awesome experience. So mm -hmm. um, again, yeah. So all of my brothers um, and sisters too. Uh, most of them play at least two different instruments until this day. Like they are very much so like yeah. comparable on these instruments, dude. Oh. So um, now you guys do this thing, okay? <laughs> where like it's round robin or whatever. Uh, yeah, they get together yeah. like during Christmas or family oh, yes. reunions, yeah. and they oh, all yes. play and everybody all the just instruments. trades. Everybody just moves Absolutely. around. So we actually was crazy. Oh my gosh. Just, one of the, the best times I ever had with my family. We're in Salisbury, Maryland, singing at mm -hmm. this um, at this gospel quartet like concert, right? And uh, we kind of had How did this in. I was oof seven, maybe eight years old. This was okay. definitely still in the nineties, right? So um, we're at this thing. We're playing right, and we're rocking. And my dad had did it in rehearsal, but we were like, "There's no way he's going to pull this on stage." So this is what he does. I'm singing. I have one brother on keys, one brother on, no, I think I, I was actually on organ or something. I was playing keys with him. Seven years old. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so I had another brother on keys, another brother on bass, another brother on drums, and then like we were all just rocking in the middle of a drive, like, like jumping. And in rehearsal, my dad was like, listen, we're gonna stop the music and I want you to go on the bass, I want you to go on the drums, I want you to go to this keyboard. Like we're all gonna get up and switch instruments and keep going in the song. So we're like, we did it in rehearsal. It was like, oh, this is fun. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? This is cool. But surely, dad is not going in. But if you know my father, he would surely pull something <laughs> like that. <laughs> pull it. So in the middle of it, rocking, man, rocking. And um, my dad, like, he's on guitar. So he's kind of out in front leading. And he turns around his head. We're going to switch. <clears throat> and we were like, <laughs> like, what did he say? Like, no. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, we're going to switch. So right in the middle of it, I mean, Place packed of people, and um, yeah, I got up. I go to drums. The drummer went to the bass. Bass player went to keys. Other keys went to organ. And, 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 and did he stay on guitar? Oh yeah, just keeping. So he was keeping, rhythm. keeping yeah, the rhythm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Locking it in. We got to do that one Listen. day. Man. <laughs> that would and, be so uh, stinking it would be crazy. Fun. It would be crazy. That, um, does. that sounds awesome. And I bring him back in. Plop, plop, plop. Let's go. And we're running. We're so running. you went to drums. I went to drums. I went to drums. Seven years so. old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, that's, that was much of my upbringing. I was, um, I mean, super Pentecostal, dude. Um, we had church Sunday morning, Sunday Pentecostal night, Tuesday Pentecostal. night, at Thursday every night. Every service is at least oh, two hours yeah. long. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 about that, 100%. <laughs> and, um, and we would easily shout praise break for... 45 minutes. You just said a hour. phrase called praise break. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. <laughs> now, let's, let's for those in. of you watching and listening, do you know what a praise let's break is? Dive in. I was in a church. Okay. In, <laughs> I, knew, I knew this story was coming. <laughs> I was at the Church Without Walls in Houston, okay. Texas. And Ralph West, the pastor, unbelievable mm -hmm. preacher, mm -hmm. and it's an amazing church. But let's be honest, man, there are not a whole lot of guys <laughs> that look like me in this church. Understood. Right? You know, I was Understood. a little pale. And, uh, 
I had never heard this before. We are in the middle of Sunday morning service, and they they just take off on this praise sure. prayer. I ain't never yeah. seen a praise prayer. I'm like, what? How old are you? And this lady. Well, I was, you know, on the road full yeah. time. I was probably 30 some odd yeah. years old. Wow. And, wow. Uh, but I had not been in that, around that culture very much singing. And this was mm-hmm. the first church that had had me in to sing. Mm-hmm. And, in in, in, you know, if Ralph West mm-hmm. was like, this white boy can sing. I want to have him. Yeah. That's what he, would, he would literally tell that to his congregation. Oh, man. And he'd be like, and, and, and by the way, they were amazing. Like, I would start singing and. I'm telling you, it was like we were having church. So mm-hmm. we get to the end of this one song, and they go into this praise break, and it goes for a while. Oh, yeah. And this this uh, lady, she was like uh, one of the people on staff or whatever. Mm-hmm. She gets up, and she kind of puts her hand down, and, you know, and everything mm-hmm. comes down, but they, they're standing. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. They're still yeah. going. <laughs> and she goes, look. <laughs> she goes, you can take a work break. She said, some of y'all take a smoke break. <laughs> and then she goes, then she goes, but there ain't nothing wrong with a praise I break. And I mean, it. they went crazy. I People dancing it. around. It I was hilarious. Yeah, and man. I had a t- the time of my life. But I, that's yeah. the first time I'd ever seen a praise sure. break. Sure, And it sure. goes a while. It's oh, as yeah. long as you want. It sounds fun. Uh, it's, no, it's, uh, it it's quite the time. Wow. Um, <laughs> but, you know, here's something that I'm just going to be on. Mm-hmm. White churches don't get this because, you know, like they break into a praise break, right? This is what white people want to know. How do you know when it's over? Oh, it's a good question. Yeah, <laughs> you know sure, sure, sure. But it's sure. a feel thing. It is. It's 100% a feel thing. 100%. And like a praise break isn't just kind of like you kind of take off and then you land. A praise break is really just an extension of what's already in the room, yeah. right? So That's you good. have the ebbs and flows, the ins and outs, the dynamics, the... Like there are certain chords, not so much to manipulate like spirit or anything, but just again to illustrate what's already kind of yeah. in the yeah. room. So see, most churches um, we go to, if it's not written on that piece of yeah. paper, then there ain't no such thing they as a praise break because it's not on the piece. You better, not, you better so, not change the bulletin. So I grew up. <laughs> so I grew up like like we described. So mm-hmm. independent, fundamental, Southern gospel. Um, you know, women didn't wear pants. Mm-hmm. I want to get that phrase right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they wore skirts. Okay? Got it. <laughs> we'll complete the whole thought. Or, or uh, no, what, what are they called? What were they called? Skorts? Uh, no, not skorts. They're really, gauchos. Okay. Gauchos. Gauchos. Yes. Oh, yes. For some reason, that was okay. Gauchos. Girls could wear gauchos, but they mm-hmm. couldn't oh, wear shorts. They were super You ever heard, you ever heard that word? Dress. Yes, I have. Yeah, you know what a gaucho is? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Adam didn't wear, um, you know, well, he said he didn't wear pants, but he did wear pants. But Adam used to wear a lot of rompers. You know what rompers are? Uh, gosh. They, they're no. matching shorts and shirts. Don't listen to him. Okay, I was going to say, please deny him. this. Please don't, don't listen to him. <laughs> please deny this. Something tells me that might be true. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that, was a, that was a slow denial. But go ahead, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. He doesn't like a good set of rompers. <laughs> so, but we, we worshipped closer to Pentecostals. Mm-hmm. And black churches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, that was the was, thing about a lot of those fundamental. Yeah, there is churches. there is a lane in mm-hmm. that world mm-hmm. that totally gets mm-hmm. response, mm-hmm. spontaneity, mm-hmm. listening to the Holy Spirit, and that's what that's mm-hmm. what I grew up in. <laughs> sure. So I, we were talking the other day. The mm-hmm. only music I ever saw growing up was a word document with the words typed out. <laughs> like yeah. we did not. None See, that's of us. Amazing. None of us read music because wow. so it was all by we field. were and, and, yeah. and the Southern Baptist. We were more liberal in our music choice, but way more conservative when it came mm-hmm. to uh, just flowing with the Spirit of God. So I grew up with shouters like your Miss Joins, mm-hmm. with a lot of them. Yeah, I grew up with runners. You had some runners. Oh, oh. yeah. So we had our church had <laughs> our church had three sections. Okay. All right. So the two aisles. Made a nice little track. Oh, oh there sure. it is. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. So you we'd have see some that more in places on the carpet. <laughs> yes, we'd have some that ran around the track, but then we also had some that just ran across. Oh yeah, back yeah, and forth yeah. Across the front. Got it. Got oh, it. Got it. Yeah. So yeah. We get. Okay. They'd have. You'd have to get a little air traffic, traffic, traffic control oh, if yeah, it got real right, happy because they run into each other. Yeah. But <laughs> we grew up. So response, like it was very common. Mm-hmm. We'd be in a church service, and people would get up and just go down to the altar and start praying. Absolutely. So. You know, me as a young kid, play. I was playing drums in. Like you just got to, 
your your library yeah. has to be in. You got to be able to recall. Mm, you got to be able because they'd get done, and we just go into another. Yeah. But that's another what song. made you so good at mm -hmm. being able to adjust to all these different kinds of churches, yep. and it makes Absolutely. you so good yeah. because you just when you know how to flow with what's going on, you get real flexible real yeah, fast. One, really, really, really quick. Um, yeah, and like growing up for us playing music and stuff in church, a core chart. That's that's good. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, what, is, what is that? What? I didn't uh, see a chord chart. Pat, and you like, pull your mic down just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just, sorry. So it's, cool? it's just like pull it down. Oh, sure. I didn't want to hit in your chin um, when you yeah. start playing. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's going to hit your chin. There we go. There you go. That's cool. perfect. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, um, no, no chord charts. No, 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 nothing like that. Like, um, and I mean, I even remember when I started to. Um, just kind of become of age when I was like playing, playing, like keys. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, this was probably like 10 years old. Um, we had um, we had our main church, what was right there in Lincoln, Delaware, but we had four like, um, I don't know, sister churches or yeah. churches incorporated in, yeah. inside of us, right? Okay. Um, so, and much of those churches were, you know, I mean, really based around family, just like ours was. My whole family went to this church, and still until this day, like, goes to this church. Mm -hmm. I have, again... I bet the um, music's amazing. Oh, no, 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 trust me, trust me. Some of the best, man. Um, and I come from a very big family. Again, we have eight kids myself. Yeah. My mom has another seven or eight siblings, and they all have eight, nine kids. So just first cousins on my mom's side, we're talking 50, 60, and then probably another. How many people 40. show up at the family picnic? Oh, gosh. Oh, what? Sure. Like, and they're all in Delaware. Like, <laughs> I'm probably one of the furthest <laughs> yeah, away the from farthest Delaware. Away. So, like, yeah. it could be anything. Like, the, the picnic was church. Like, on the Tuesday night, you could, yeah. I can go home and see pretty much all of my family. Wow. Like, right there. So, um, coming up in, in, in church, like, for us, we had these churches, right? And we had one in, in Lincoln, Delaware, and then our furthest church was in... Um, Pocomoke, Maryland, right, um, which is probably about hour 45 or so. Mm -hmm. But then we had another church right there, like right on the line of Maryland um, while we were in Delaware, so about 45 minutes an hour away, and uh, they needed a musician. The pastor actually lived in Delaware, so um, I was able to, um, right at 10 years old, start to travel um, down to Maryland, and I became the main, like, piano player and be there. Um, and you're 10 years old. 10 years old, 10 years old, right? So. At this point, like, okay, I kind of really got to start, like, learning music and, like, starting, like, to really grasp my, like, palette of music on my own, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I'm living in, in, in this house, and we have this old upright, and the way that we learned music is that we actually had a DVD player. I didn't have a CD player yet. Yeah. Uh, the, those were, That was broke. Like, yeah. you had a, <laughs> I had a DVD player with no remote. So Ooh. the way that I would have to learn songs, well, I'll get the songs on the CD or whatever, and I'll put it in a DVD player, and I'm pushing play, and like it, there's no skip. Like there's skip, but there's no like fast forward. Fast forward. So I have to like listen oh, to it, oh, and like man. right there. And if I want to go back and listen, I have to start it like over day. from it. So maybe like a year into doing that, I got a CD player, which mm -hmm. for me was like, oh man, everybody yeah. in trouble. Like yeah. <laughs> I got me a CD player. I can. Oh yes, it's <laughs> but um, but this is again before like YouTube really started getting the, like you just had to have a. Uh, uh, vocabulary of chords, you had to have mm -hmm. vocabulary of fills, and we're playing stuff that's like, like difficult. Like this is difficult music. Mm -hmm. We're talking about stuff like Douglas Miller. We're talking about the Hawkins. We're talking about Andre is, Crouch stuff. We're is, talking is about is that yeah. congregational stuff, or is it yeah. more with the choir? So, so we had that. Con we had congregational stuff where it was. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, this is the day. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Like, mm. pretty Bless much a lot of songs, that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, songs mm -hmm. that you kind of can hear across, mm -hmm. you know, um, many different uh, places. But then we had our choir palette, right, um, of music where it was Milton Brunson and uh, guys like Isaiah uh, Thomas. It's, it's a he's a choir director. Yeah. Oh, not they're, not the basketball. Not player. the basketball player. player. There's another guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> But um, but no, it was just guys that had. Um, I He's mean, the guy that just, kissed Michael Jordan in the middle. There, is that who that was? I don't, I don't yeah, know I who that was. was. They don't like each other to this day. They don't. No, they don't. No. <laughs> Either way. So um, yeah, yeah. We digress. So, yeah, yeah. So that was that was kind of how um, I came up playing. And um, again, my dad played. My mm. brothers played. Um, very much so. Like my family is like the band there still until this day. What so I, yeah. What I love though when I listen to you play is that you'll take a song, mm -hmm. an Andre Crouch song or anything, mm -hmm. but you'll bring other things to it. So mm -hmm. I'd like to know in your mind, when you're when you're thinking of a song, you're sitting there and you're have playing. Fun with this <laughs> I really want, I, I guess I want to hear. Like, I don't know yeah. how to Because I want to, okay. I, I hear, you know, like chords like this, like almost sure. like 
boom, boom, boom. Sure, and you're sure, hearing sure. this incredible, yeah. what, like palette of colors of that it, are coming? Man, all so, of it, man, all of it. So a good way of putting it. Yeah, a, yeah. A palette of colors. So, uh, so that was very much a lot of my life, right? See, I'm, I'm, com- I'm monochromatic, and yeah. he's all... <laughs> To put this in context, there's, there's, um, I had that part of my thing. I came to Liberty, right? When I came to Liberty, like culture shock to like the fifteenth oh. degree. Mm-hmm. I came in, and first of all, like to understand, like to be in the CCM world, I stepped into Liberty for my first time. So it wasn't kind of like you know me a local Baptist church or something mm-hmm. like that. No, this is like mm-hmm. some of the best. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So you're mm-hmm. really like diving into something like huge. So yeah. Um, I mean, I walk in, and this is 2011. I'm seeing Dave McKinney up there. Uh, I'm seeing uh, uh, um, Justin Kinsel, Johnny. Like I'm seeing, and I'm seeing a campus band. This is the first time I see an acoustic guitar on stage. This is the first time I see the worship band singing like in the pulpit. Like mm-hmm. where I'm from? Oh no 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 no! You never no 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 no. But like this was just something different. You know what I mean? There were screens. There was words on the screens. Mm-hmm. Like. Yo, what is this? Lights and smoke. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. So, and then like diving into the school of music and stuff. First time I see a chord chart, and I'm like, oh. okay. Now I was in band like throughout like school and stuff, so I was very much so like you play you know, saxophone to, too. I play saxophone. I was drummer and the whole nine. So uh, I knew what like notes were and like I had theory and all that, mm-hmm. but I never just seen it in the context of a church. Wow. Never seen it. Never seen it. Like legit. Never wow. seen it. Wow. Yeah. So. Um, I come to Liberty, and then now, couldn't tell you who Hillsong was, Chris Tomlin, Matt Redden. You could literally sit him in front of my face and be like, hi, buddy. I didn't mean to do that. Chris is taller than that. I'm sorry. (laughs) Hi, Hi, buddy. What's up, man? Um, You're definitely uh, taller than Chris. (laughs) Yeah, sure. Um, But, yeah, um, that's just just where I come from. So when I came to Liberty now, I've been here, you know, 10 years plus, and I've been able to, like, just kind of grasps this whole totally different style of music. And not only was it CCM stuff, this Southern Baptist thing being here at Thomas Road and all that. Like, yeah, it has some choir songs all, and things like that. Yeah, I, I have all this going in my head. Mm. So when I'm sitting down, it depends on where I'm at, it depends on who I'm playing for. Mm-hmm. I'm now able to kind of grab from all of it. And you probably stuff, noticed yeah. in this, and when we say CCM, we mean contemporary Christian mm-hmm. music. But in, in the midst of all that, you probably noticed that all these little choruses are only three or four chords. Yeah, real and simple. They're super simple. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. my guess is you were able to grasp that really fast. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. It made sense pretty quick. Yeah. Um, but uh, again, did you ever get bored with it? No, honestly, no, because a lot of of gospel, black gospel quartet was really just straight ones, straight fours, up. fives. Now it was a different <clears throat> chord color, a voicing, but it yeah. was just mm-hmm. still like ones, fours, so fives. So for those simple. watching and listening, when mm-hmm. you say one, four, five, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah sure, play yeah, 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 yeah. So say we're in the key of C, right? And you have your scale. Sure, everybody's heard that before. These coincide with numbers: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the one repeat. So, so each not do, one re- re- me fa sol la ti do. Well, okay. that's yeah, the same thing but too. this <laughs> is this is easier to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, one set uh, all the way up to uh, one through seven, and then all of these notes correspond with chords too. So you can have one, two minor, one over three. This is kind of again in the uh, Christian contemporary context: four, five, six minor, yeah. five over seven. Then we're back at the one, right? So, um, yeah, so now when I'm sitting down at a song, right, and you're, we're playing something, and... It was like, uh, how about, how great is our God? Sure, Just sure, sure. straight up, like, most people would know it. Yeah, so, real mm-hmm. simple. Is our God. Real simple. Sing with me, how great. Six minor. Is our God. No, we'll see how great. Four. How great. Five. Simple. Yeah. Now <laughs> so let's take it to the shorts. Let's th- yeah, yeah, okay. So now um, the biggest thing that I like to play on is melody. This is something, especially mm-hmm. coming from playing organ, because you have your foot pedal and then you have your left hand and you have your right hand. So now, like, what I would have to do with my, right, my left and right hand, I can now do with my left hand and my foot. So now I have all this melody, this room for melody to play in my right hand okay. because I'm, I'm setting, like, the base of the, the, the song right there in, in these two, like, limbs. So um, that has taught me now to whatever song that I'm playing, I can quickly have the melody on a string. If I know the melody, I can be able to, uh, right, we're playing. Right? 
right? So I, I just have the, the melody on the string. Now, um, when you're playing that melody, now there's chords and there's transitional um, chords and like movements mm -hmm. that we can get to these next chords, right? So something like how great is our God, sing me how great, yeah. right? Is our God, and oh, we'll sing how great, how great is our God. So all, what makes it make sense is because it's all within the melody, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you substitute the chord voicing around the melody being yeah. the same. Yep. And you can almost make it a totally different song. Mm -hmm. Just, again, just stick into the melody and, um, yeah, that's a, a lot of how my arrangements um, really come into play, um, especially being here at Liberty. Um, and I get the chance to direct the gospel choir here, L.U. Praise. And, um, yeah, we take those Phil Wickham songs, we take those, I mean, who will? really whoever, mm -hmm. and we're able to present them in a, a context where a lot of people can get a lot of feels from it. That yeah. Somebody that don't it's, even know. It's those you know. extra mm -hmm. chords in there, <laughs> that the, sh the different shading mm -hmm. that I love. I'm sitting out there mm -hmm. on Sunday morning, and I'd heard that same song somewhere else, and I hear it with you, and mm -hmm. it's a whole yeah. different it's, vibe. Yeah. yeah, and same melody. Yeah. It's the yeah. melody doesn't change. It's just the, everything hey, do, underneath. Hey, do it. another one. Cause just okay. Um, so, yeah, like, even with... <sighs> Um, how about a hymn? Yeah, a hymn. Okay. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm maybe I'm sorry. I love this when you, every anytime somebody asks me to play yeah. something. Oh, you yeah. can't I, remember. I got nothing. Yeah. Blanks, I mean, bro. I, uh, <laughs> I can't even tell people my own songs. <laughs> <laughs> how about Amazing Grace? Is that a good? Okay. One? Yeah. Amazing <laughs> Grace. Real simple. How sweet for the sound. Six. That same. Oh, wretch. Real simple, right? Right. But again, there's passing chords, there's passing tones and stuff that you can use. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Lost my but Oh, right there. <laughs> Stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, Brandon. Ooh, right there. I like, I like it. <laughs> it's just, I love it's, it's just stuff like that, man. That um, again, these are chords and stuff that I've heard. So life, how, how, yeah. how about you got a band on the stage? Oh, now there's 15 different chords you could use for yes. that same melody. <laughs> how do they know which one you're gonna use if there's no mm. chord chart? It's the ear. It's the ear mm -hmm. thing. It's a major ear thing. And then whoever is normally like the MD, um, I'll give them. MD means music director. Music director. Yeah, who's leading the band? Um, most of the times, it's normally the keys players because we kind of got so much to kind of work with yeah. that can we can quickly kind of get to. So mm -hmm. if there are certain chords that I'm playing, I'll give them leading notes to say, okay, guitar is coming here, like organist is coming here. We're going to play the four, but it's coming here. You know what I mean? So if I'm playing like that one and I say, okay, we're just going to go to the six and I just say, all right, we're on the six, I'll probably most of the time just play a nice little clean six. Yeah. But if I'm at the one and I give you something like that to the six, oh, let's make sure that's dirty. Let's make sure that's a little bit more full. You know what I'm saying? Um, or I'm at the one and I kind of want this four. We can go one to four, right? But I kind of want this one with a more like churchier four, dirtier four, right? That, you just give them that look? I give them the look sometimes. <laughs> but I've there's the chords look. that set stuff. Oh, you're leading, stuff. you're giving them a leading chord. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So you're listening, if you're playing guitar, you're listening yeah. to his leading I, chord going into that. Yeah, <laughs> number number one thing, which the thing we did, la we did a thing last week that you asked mm -hmm. me to play for, mm -hmm. which was an absolute blast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. gospelology. Okay. Yeah. Woo! There, we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah. <laughs> so when, when I get to play with you, mm -hmm. there are two things that I do as a musician. <laughs> I watch you, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. last week I was at a different part of the stage, so I was kind of like this <laughs> the whole time. Because even the look, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know it's, okay, we're mm -hmm. doing something different. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I listen <laughs> to what you're, mm -hmm. what you're doing with your mm -hmm. right hand. Mm -hmm. And so, like... I was talking with some of my students a few months back, and they're like, how do you, how do you know what's getting ready to happen? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm like, well, 
the cord most likely is going to be, unless he's told me we're doing, we're substituting a mm -hmm. six here for mm -hmm. a four all the time, mm -hmm. we're most likely going to a four. Sure. I've got, I've got three lanes. Mm -hmm. I've got three ways we're going to get there. Mm -hmm. Just theoretically mm -hmm. speaking, mm -hmm. in music mm -hmm. theory, there are three transitions mm -hmm. that most likely are going to take place. All three of those transitions have, as a guitar player, all three of those transitions have a few notes in common. Mm -hmm. Mm. Those are the notes I'm going to do sure. because yeah. I'm going to be safe. You're in yeah, yeah, yeah. Be yeah. almost yeah. like me as a vocalist. Like I'll hear these different chords and mm -hmm. I just automatically change my melody yeah, to match absolutely. the chords. Sure, yes. sure. But it happens like that. Well, yeah. All that conversation people, I just had, it's like for yeah. sure. It I happens mean, in a split second. And honestly, I'm glad that you said that. That's actually how I function on a, an exact like backwards clip. Like mm -hmm. there's people that's going to sit up and sing songs that they give me music very special especially musical like solos and vocalists like mm -hmm. they give you kind of where they're going mm -hmm. as far as like their run or their lick or mm -hmm. whatever way that so i'm knowing there's even songs that i don't, haven't even heard before you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and like in the type of church that i grew up in most vocalists probably play you know what i mean mm -hmm. so like they'll know like okay he's looking Mm -hmm. So I'm going to kind of lead him. I'd call mm -hmm. it pitching us a, us a beach ball, yeah. which we really like, here's the next chord coming. Like, mm -hmm. really, all you have to yeah. do is really just swing, and I'm mm -hmm. sure you're most likely going to land it. So mm -hmm. um, I'm always, like, constantly thinking about that. Um, and then there's a language that, um, like, nowadays we are so fancy with talkback mics and all oh, that. Yeah, all that yeah. stuff. I didn't come you up didn't in that. Any no, we sir. Didn't, we didn't have that. No, sir. And mm -hmm. the music was too loud to yell. So, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're the one. <laughs> no, 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 no. We <laughs> had a monitor that was about 105. <laughs> That's yeah. almost like, it no, just, it was happening. It was mm -hmm. happening. So yeah. we had to use a lot of our <laughs> body language to, to say things and do mm -hmm. things. So, first of all, obviously, like, numbers, I can throw up those things. But there's also, like... Um, um, body, body signals that we can use to go to yeah. certain parts, or whatever. Yo, chorus, or we're going. Yeah. Hey, back to the top, or or this is yeah, back to the, the top. top. Hey, we're going verse. to the next part, verse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stuff like that. Um, this is, but I can be playing and I'm doing this. That means build. Like you know, yeah, it's okay, little yeah. stuff build, like yeah. that. Build, like, build, or I'm I'm up singing and I'm playing, and if I'm stomping my foot hard. Like, my drummer yeah. knows, hey, lock it in the pocket. Yeah. I need this. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I mean, even with, now that I play with, like, a guy named Mark McDowell, oh. awesome, awesome bass player, bass player. and I'm playing, I'm like, I'll turn around and do this, and that means, you'll drop all your notes. Play the octave down. Oh, or wow. I'll say, bring it in. Like, you know what I'm saying? And mm. that's, just, that's just a language that yeah. we yeah. have. There's no sign. And people in the audience have no idea no, no. you're sending all those <laughs> yeah. languages. So, the so me, if I ever, and you've seen this, if I, if I turn around and look at the band, I have a talk back, but sometimes sure, sure. it's still like, it's different. And, and if you're it's a feeling band you played it, with a lot, you if, know, I start, if I start nodding and kind of leaning forward, we're, rolling, it's, we're, rolling. we're going. We're yeah. going. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and from a vocal perspective, because he's played with me for 20 mm -hmm. something years, if I start building vocally, he just knows, he knows the band yeah. needs to build with 100%. me. If I bring it down, I don't 100%. have to give him signals. They just know. But some of the band that you played with now for a while, I don't see, because I've been on the road with you a couple mm -hmm. times, I don't see a whole lot of talking because it seems like you guys know. Just, just no, we're just listening. Yeah. Synergy, it's just listening. Yeah. There's a synergy Listening now, and yeah. watching. Yeah. And that's the thing about people who play in churches and bands that so many they just don't mm -hmm. all yeah. they're doing is looking at the stupid chart <laughs> and it's no fun that is no fun mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. okay yeah you got through the song you made it to the end without missing a note great yeah. but if you really want to enjoy music man. you got to start watching and listening a whole and dynamic, responding man. a lot well, of this is just mm -hmm. a response yeah, sure. and to what's going on mm -hmm. in the room mm -hmm. 100%. you know not taking us down a theological lesson mm -hmm. but like People change by the Holy Spirit. That's yeah. how Absolutely. people change. Right, Absolutely. right. It's not, it's not music we play. It's not even mm -hmm. what the pastor gets up and mm -hmm. says. Mm -hmm. So if we are in a service, I can't see what's happening mm -hmm. if I'm looking at a chord chart all the time. you got to keep your eyes open. Yeah. And so when you grow up, like, mm -hmm. while it was different, it's very similar how we grew up, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> music's not an option. So you just learn. You learn to watch. Sure. Watch, sure, sure. <laughs> watch choir director. Yeah, watch the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think uh, also uh, w probably one of the most just, gosh, honoring and just um, close to my heart art, I guess, of um, what I learned in the black church is that many of us growing up, we're talking three, four years old, five years old. 
um, we were allowed to sit in the music pit, right? So mm -hmm. we would be over four or five young guys, kids, like legit mm -hmm. kids, are sitting over in the music pit with, with, with drumsticks and like Just maybe watching. small, and we're watching. Mm -hmm. But we might have like a small drum or whatever, but it, we were there playing these drums and, and within the context of the service, and like learning the dynamic right. and learning like and then we're watching That's the drum so just Early, learning how to and then once we could reach the drum pedal all right let's go like in your own I you might start I, was with a, I was a drum pit kid <laughs> loved it i bro. sat behind our drummer at five years old with, with, you know, the little practice Yes, pads. yes, yes. That's right. how you I just learn. sit there, and that's, that's how I learned. It's yeah. lost, man. And I understand that, you know, now we have cameras and church, and, like, mm -hmm. we have this whole production. I get it, you know what I mean? And, like, just yeah. to kind of pan over and see, like, a whole bunch of little kids kind of, like, because we were cut up, too. Like, don't, don't we were kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were yeah, kids, yeah. you know, but. Um, yeah, I could hear my mom clear her throat. Oh, but, yeah, uh, listen. <laughs> I knew what that meant. There was, from the, <laughs> my mom had a snap that listen had, to that me. is the no. loudest snap that ever was. My mom listen could clear her throat, <laughs> and it didn't matter where I was in that building, my nope. in that had, room. My mom had loud, loud eyes. Loud, loud eyes. eyes. Oh, I bet. She's giving oh that look. Oh, my <laughs> God. Give me, give me the look. Give you can look. hear her eyes <laughs> in the middle of a, man. Okay. <laughs> loud right. eyes. Right? Loud give eyes. Give me the look. What was the look? You could just be like, I'm, I'm cutting up, right? And she'll just give you a, <laughs> that? Oh! Sorry. I know I wasn't supposed to yell in this mic. That will lock you up oh, quick, man. man. <laughs> Whatever you was doing, immediately. Yeah, yeah. No, we'd be up in the balcony. And we'd, gonna be, pay we'd be cutting dearly. up, and all of a sudden, I would hear. <clears throat> Listen, you know I knew that one. You knew what time it was. So that's kind of what I, you know, I, mean, I grew up in. And then, like, um, you know, obviously, drums was very much so like one of the easier things to kind of get into because you didn't really have to process mo melody yet. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. rhythmically, like, you're hearing all this all the time. Again, I was in church in school. 90% of my life. Yeah, like, you know, that's it. That's we had it. church all the time. Yeah. So for us to come to church, and there was no kids' church. There was, mm -hmm. no, we're all in the, in the same room. service, yeah. mm -hmm. enjoying the it's same. It's special like, about that. It's special. It, yeah, it's a lost thing. It is. Well, it is because yeah. it doesn't, we were talking the other day. <clears throat> we don't have, like the kids that show up for Liberty Now, no. they do not have, I don't mean to sound super negative. <laughs> it's just a reality. I don't mean negative <laughs> or positive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, mm -hmm. I'm biased because I like how we sure, grew up. Sure. They don't have a library. Mm -mm. They don't have yeah. uh, a legacy of song. So when I was at Liberty, uh, one of the different groups that I got in, mm -hmm. I did a trip kind of as a final, mm -hmm. final tryout. When we get up on stage, and I was playing guitar, mm -hmm. and the guy who was leading the group busted into old, some old song, <laughs> something like How Do You Praise the Lamb or sure. something like that. And... The rest of the band has deer and headlights. So they just stop. <laughs> so they stop. Yeah. I walk over, mm -hmm. and I just I just jump in, find him where he's at. Yeah. And, yeah. and we got off stage, and he goes, "You're hired." There it is. Where was that? I don't, I don't remember. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, but well, it was, it's that's how it goes. Yeah. That's how I hired you. Remember? Yeah. We were in a back room at a at a cheerleading conference. Yep. And I was needing help that's at a Liberty because yeah. when I got here, yeah, yeah that's a whole other. <laughs> and uh, I was just like, well, I, how about I just start singing and if you can follow me, that's, and so he did. Yeah, he just yeah, followed me cool. everywhere I went. And I said, okay. <laughs> there it is I right need there, you man. right there. Because it's if you want freedom in worship, then you have to be able to just be spontaneous. Yeah, but, yeah. but um, you know, the other thing is, is that uh, this new generation that's coming up in musicians, it's, uh, now, not everybody, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. yeah, sure. but, uh, you know, we're relying on stems, mm -hmm. we're relying on click. Mm -hmm. I'm all for stems and I'm all for click, but I think if you really want to become a good musician, learn how to do this stuff on your own 100%. first. 100%. Um, because, you know, anymore, you know, you can play to a stem and yeah. learn one little guitar part and make yeah. it through no problem. <laughs> now, the flip side, which you pointed out mm -hmm. the other day, the flip, the bar in my church and the bar in your church, mm -hmm. They started young, but mm -hmm. it was high. It was high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very you had so. to be able to execute. Oh, yeah. yeah. So a positive aspect mm -hmm. of, of click and stems that mm -hmm. we're running is that it makes being a part of something more accessible. Yeah. yeah. It, it, much, it, much, a, much. An much. average player can get through just fine. Yeah. 100%. And he can be a part of what you're doing in a church, which yeah. is a goal. Like, yeah. rightfully that so. That is good. Sure. That is good. But um, if you really want to become great. Yeah. Then yep. uh, you know there's there's yeah. a whole other world there that yeah. that is outside of that mm -hmm. pre-produced thing that for sure 
that allows you to almost produce on the fly. Yeah. That is, yeah. Uh, that's a rare talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So talk about another world. You guys opened up a whole new world, what, a week ago? when you guys were doing the gospel. Gospelology. Yep. Gospelology, yeah. and I, so, can you talk about that, maybe play a little something about Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. So um, we got an awesome opportunity, uh, opportunity like um, <laughs> to um, uh, just talk about the story of gospel music in Convo, a convocation um, last uh, Wednesday. Uh, we called it Gospelology, and um, we talked about gospel music from, man, the fields to the Grammys, dude. Like, mm -hmm. it, it all, it all, from Azusa Street to, um, man, to Thomas Dorsey and the Hawkins, Winans, all the way up to Kirk Franklin and even mm -hmm. Mav City, like this mm -hmm. is all like what we were able to kind of touch, you know? Um, and um, yeah, we had uh, an awesome um, just mix of, you know, video content of just giving information. And then we were able to bring in, I had LU Praise and the Worship Collective. We made a big gospel choir together. Um, I had myself, the LU Praise Band, um, myself, a drummer, bass player, organist, and then Adam came in. Yeah. Um, so it was four piece and a biscuit. And, uh, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and um, uh, so, uh, no, we had, a, we had a great time. And, um, man, we were playing songs like, um, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. The Stuff like that, all the way to um, we've come from this far by faith. Oh yeah, yeah. Stuff like that, even to uh, oh happy day. Like we we touched all of it, even yeah, at Kirk Franklin. Were you hanging on? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I was, I was in there. The, oh, bi yeah. the biscuit was buttery. Yeah. I will say, <laughs> biscuit was buttery. The biscuit was buttery. So <laughs> butter biscuit. It was. It was. It was I saw beautiful. his face. He looked so happy. Man, oh, it was yeah. just in the room, is, bro. Yeah, it was just in the room. So um, we were able to bring in a couple of um, um, soloists right here in the city. Jeremy Wilder. Um, right from um, Hill City Community Church and Claude oh, yeah. Gardner mm -hmm. from Ramp Church. Mm -hmm. And then we brought in Rashonda Bentley, Ooh. who is a God soprano, for real, for real. Man. I mean, and like, God soprano. Unbelievable. So she sang Precious, she sang Precious, Lord, Precious Lord, Lord, take my an hand. old, uh, oh yeah, man, Precious just Lord. standard. Fact, take my hand. Why don't yeah, we yeah. do this? Let's make that link available on my website. Absolutely, okay. Okay. absolutely, man. We'll so if you want to go to JarlsBillings.com, yeah, 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 we'll yeah. have that link for that entire service available was, on my website. It was awesome, man, um, just to hear um, the students gravitate towards it because many of them heard gospel music mm -hmm. but really kind of don't know the well, origin so like, of it. That's a good, you know, uh, Oh Happy Day, sure. I heard that growing yeah. up. I heard yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Precious Lord. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, how I heard it and how you played it might be two different Way things. different. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, how, did, how did it sound? Play a couple licks from it. Oh, yeah. So, um, man, Precious Lord uh, is certainly more of like a, a ballad. Um, it's played on keys, but um, there is... Um, a rich history of it playing being played on organ, mm. um, but so, uh, uh, in the combo you played the B three. I did play it the B three. It was just him and her, and it was it was just in the room, man. And it's it was ridiculous. Just so in the room. It's so wow. in the room. Um, but yeah, stuff like Oh Happy Day. I mean, I was able to pull out some of those old upright piano sounds and just uh, you know. It's all Like stuff like that. We um, oh I, I you gotta watch it. Yo. You gotta go back and watch it. It was it was yeah, just awesome, awesome morning. Awesome. So, um, but yeah, that was that was a, a, a good um, just display of just what I grew up just doing um, mm -hmm. and, and singing. We had tambourines on stage and which I love. Oh, I love yeah. that they passed their tambourine around the yes, choir. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, I wish we. Oh, yeah. I wish we should We should have had fifteen up there. But <laughs> we only had one. You know, you know. Just one tambourine. And well, just, you know, that's we, what it was, we man. Easing people in. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it was in church. Like one, my, my, uh, mm -hmm. somebody's auntie is playing. Yeah, they're always. Oh, yeah. There's always a couple. You look up. In the she's room. holding somebody's kid, and somebody else is like, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. this yeah. is just how like church was for me. You know, well, so. and because you were raised in it, it's just so natural for Super. you. Ooh, and one of the things that we talked about, that mm -hmm. you and Dr. Duff, who helped mm -hmm. you guys mm -hmm. put together the content and the videos, and Charles and I have had conversations about this mm -hmm. for years. One of the biggest difference, differences you see, like, how, like if you were to ask me, how do you define or what makes black church mm -hmm. different than white church? Mm -hmm. 
for me, it's it's the historic it's the historical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The culture that was created in your church comes from mm -hmm. slaves and people in need mm -hmm. showing up mm -hmm. yeah. every yeah, week right. mm -hmm. with an absolute need mm -hmm. for God. Yeah. And fellowship and yep. the music and, and praise. Mm -hmm. And it was the happiest, most joyful time of the week. Yep. Yeah. And yep. you have, you know, our the, the white church tradition <laughs> traces back to really Church of, church of England. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so you just have this formal... <sighs> sure. <laughs> Trying to think how, it, yeah. how to say it. it's more liturgical. Yeah. It is more liturgical, mm -hmm. which I'm fine. I'm not against, sure. but yeah, sure. oftentimes there is a there is a less, at least how we'll present it. Mm -hmm. There's not a desperation no for God mm -hmm. in those and environments. And a lot of often borders on legalism as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that a Fair statement? Is that a fair? Yeah. Or um, how would you add to it or correct me? Sure. No, um, very much so. Like there was a, uh, I mean, quite a desperation yeah. when, um, you know, me establishing um, having church here. Like really what we know as church, like Africans coming over during slavery times. And like we're talking about the invisible church where they weren't allowed to do this. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. for real, for real. So yeah. many times they would find pockets within the woods they would bring wet, like bed sheets, mm -hmm. so it could dampen the sound, mm. so they won't they won't be wow. heard. And, and you know what I'm saying? Call, yeah. don't, like there's a there's a different desperation for there's, that. You know, yeah. we're talking about in the middle of the night. So yeah. um, when you have things like that, and um, now it just kind of moves into where church is a little bit more. You know. Um, not really Americanized, but like more accessible, more um, cultured in a way that like you can actually just come in and you got the speakers and all that. We have not lost mm. that desperation. We have not lost that feeling mm -hmm. of, no, this is where like we find freedom. This mm -hmm. is where we find. Um, I'm so like, glad you have yeah, it. Yeah, for, for 100%. You know. So, um, yeah, and I don't think it'll ever, I don't think it'll ever change. Even now that we are. You know, I mean, many of our churches are kind of taking on a different um, feel where, you know, we are dimming the lights and we're getting the LED walls and all that. Mm -hmm. It'll never be replaced. It'll never be replaced where um, I believe that anybody where we can come together as um, brothers and sisters and we just have one thing in our mind. And that is just to worship the true yeah. living God, like mm -hmm. special. He, he shows up, like <laughs> yeah. special yeah. things happen. And uh, I mean, this is where I've seen people are wheeled in and walk out. I've seen people who, ah oh man, like are just healed instantly or have a 20 year addiction and they're set free from it because mm. they came in sp expecting it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they came expecting when to- That's the word. Um, yeah. And when you meet, encounter that, when you yeah. meet Jesus- Absolutely. How do you walk out the same? How? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, how? Mm -hmm. Well, so. Charles, I know we gotta wrap this, this incredible podcast up, <laughs> but I, there's always one question we ask everybody. Mm -hmm. And oh. I don't know if okay. you want to do it or not. Well, no, I think we should because, uh, Patrick, you're a guy that's got unbelievable talents. I mean, you've just heard a little tip of the <laughs> iceberg here. But, uh, you know, you probably also have some pretty big goals in your life. If, and we, yeah. like, we like to ask all of our guests sure. if there's one thing in your life that you haven't accomplished where money is not an issue, time was not an issue, you could do anything in the world that you wanted to do, uh, what would that one thing be for Patrick Shorts? <laughs> Uh, plan for Charles. No, um, <laughs> uh, no, no. <laughs> you got you. you <laughs> the bucket list. Okay, no, 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 guys. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, one thing that uh, you asked me. Oh, man. Um, anything like you go to bed at night and you Lord. look up at the ceiling and go, man, one day I just want to do that. For sure. Um, I I think. I don't know. The Lord has really kind of blessed me already to do like some of the big things that I didn't even know I wanted or like know mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. would make that big of a difference. Um, I mean, um, man, there's yeah, there's some like award shows that I would love to like MD or play for, mm -hmm. you know, like yeah. maybe, I don't know, the Grammys or, you know, the Stellars or, you know, um, or something, you know what I mean? Something like mm -hmm. that. But like if there was one thing, money's not a, not an issue that 
Patrick Schultz would like to do. Well, let me ask you this way. Okay. <laughs> that's rough. That's a, because that's a good I, question. I think that's about as, that might be the best answer of all. When really? people answer us basically saying, you know what? I'm doing yeah. what 100%, I was made to do. Honestly, 100%. Dude. Then I don't know if there's a better answer than that. 100%, dude. Then, then you don't need to keep looking. You just need to just follow after doing. what God's 100%. doing in your 100%. life. Also. You have an adorable yeah. wife. Two yes. adorable babies. Yes, sir. Gideon and, and Aaron, my wife, a little Elizabeth. boy now. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, well, so we're awesome. we're thrilled you're here at Liberty, and we're thrilled to be able to do some stuff on the road with For you. Sure. And you've got a jazz group now. Yes, sir. <laughs> Called Three, three Piece Dark. Three Piece Dark. Yeah, <laughs> they're man. amazing. Yeah. And, um, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I just feel like you you you're gonna end up doing a lot more in that world oh, too, man. because you guys are <laughs> phenomenal. And every once in a while, you throw in a few biscuits. With Absolutely, Adam, and sometimes <laughs> me, and it's a blast. Yeah, and so, man. Um, yeah, we just yeah, appreciate yeah. what you do. Yeah, You're dude. amazing at what you do. Now, I appreciate you guys, um, again, <clears throat> coming to Liberty in 2011 um, and meeting a Charles Billingsley and, man, Adam mm. Lancaster, who um, I've said this plenty and plenty of times, who just somebody that I've always looked up to, man, mm -hmm. um, just kind of in his own right and as a musician. And then somebody like Charles, um, mm. who, you know, I just wasn't really accustomed to. And you, it, it's, it's one of those, you know, you, you never forget, like, you know, I mean, your first experience of something, right? Mm -hmm. Or and that person who kind yeah. of, you know, I mean, ushered mm -hmm. into that. But like, yeah. it's also special when like you can still just on a regular basis gravitate towards them. And um, there's stuff that I learned from you, dude, and just watching mm -hmm. um, on stage, off stage. Um, we got a had a cool opportunity uh, over Christmas break to um, go out on the road for about uh, a week and a half. Yeah. And um, yeah, bro, it was just sitting in Waffle House. And just chopping it up um, and watching the Cowboys lose. And uh, <laughs> no, no, you had to bring that wow, in. Wow, that's had rough. To bring that in. Uh, that's rough. You can't expect anything can't else from the Phillies. <laughs> no, you can't. Uh, you can't. Oh, that was good. And uh, I'm a little bitter. So yeah. you got to hold me. Let me hold no, that. But, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> uh, no, but just, you know, getting to know you, man, mm -hmm. and just seeing, you know, your heart and just to see that your heart matched your talent, dude. Same thing mm -hmm. with Adam, man, that um, mm -hmm. I could call him in yeah. on a Saturday before Gospelology and it's. Just for the love of ministry, yeah. Adam says, absolutely. Hadn't heard a song, nothing. <laughs> like, and I, I mean, we didn't go easy on him. No, <laughs> no sir. No, no, no sir, we didn't go easy. <laughs> I, listen, just, I <laughs> listened to that music 24-7 <laughs> Yeah, the next man. Three days. <laughs> and like, uh, just, just you guys have been awesome. Yeah, and then meeting BP here in the last, you know, year and a half or so, two years, mm -hmm. um, and just being able to um, do things with the um, SBC Virginia um, yeah. Stuff, it's been really cool to kind of see her. So I was, I jumped at this, man. This was yeah. awesome. Well, we I appreciate you guys. Tremendous really, really respect do. for you and really, what you really do. do. And, and just keep on doing it, man. There's it, a man. lot of lives to get changed. <laughs> but what I love more than anything is just the cultural interaction mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that really is so fun, not only here at Liberty, but in other churches and on the road and stuff. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, man. You guys yeah. got anything? Anything else happen? <laughs> this has been a blast. Yes, this sir. This has been so good. Thank cool. you so much for watching and listening to the Charles Billingsley Podcast. Appreciate we come at you every week on Wednesday. Subscribe on YouTube and wherever you get your podcast. Yes, sir. We'll see you next week. I was made for this. <laughs>